Oh my god, no. This could have been perfect. I can get this kill. Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 1 of my Lone Star series. So here we are, in the UHC lobby, on a fresh account, uh, no UHC stats. As you can see, I got it to level 50. I, I've been questing on this account for around 20-ish, 10-ish, something like that, days. Uh, because if you're a new player and you're getting into UHC, a lot of you will have this network level, and if you don't, it's not that difficult to get, especially if you just play it a little bit. But you need to be level 10 to join UHC. I got level 50 because the 5 times coin multiplier is insane. Not only are we going to be getting 5 times the amount of coins, but uh, that that's it. it. It's all we need. It's it's ridiculous. 5 times the amount of coins is going to make us progress 5 times faster. But if you're just now starting, you could probably quest to level 10 by just doing Bed Wars, Sky Wars, Arcade, TNT, and like duels and and get there within a day honestly it's ridiculously easy so for this first episode we're not going to be doing too much we're just going to be playing a few games and we're going to actually have nothing in the shop get that completely vanilla experience uh the only thing i'm going to do is actually in kits i'm just gonna go archer instead of like stone tools or anything uh and now you're gonna level up the kits because it's just better than leather ironically enough uh <laughs> The day I'm recording this, you know, I, I've been planning to record the first episode on this day for like a week now. And then Scotty just uploads a, a, a low start video this literally today when I've been playing this count for like a few weeks, questing it up to level 50 to be able to play for this series. I'm not copying him uh, in case he makes that video into a series himself. I'm not entirely sure if he would do that, but if that is the case, um... I trust me like here, here's footage of me playing Skywars on the account from like a few weeks ago you can see in the scoreboard the date is not today it's before he had released his video all right here's a guy now the issue with getting kills and snowballing is we don't have strength we don't have regen but they don't know that he's gonna die to fire though it, it's tough starting out as a new player but it's not impossible it's not Give me the kill. Give me the one kill. Oh, baby. Let's go. I swear I didn't nab an idea. It's it's not the most original idea. It's just, it's just a good idea. Great minds think alike, you know? But yeah, this is going to be the first game. I don't even know how I'm going to play it. I don't want to mine forever, for sure. But we might have to, quite frankly. I also never go archer on my main. It's going to be a bit weird to play the archer play style here. I think we're just going to be able to get a little bit of arrows and a bow this game and that's it i do not anticipate to do extremely well quick rundown how most episodes of this will go is we'll probably unlock a few things in shop at the beginning and or end of the video uh make it our goal to use said craft and explain what it does i'll give a little bit of tips about uhc just my gameplay and what i suggest you all do and uh i'll probably play for the duration of a personal booster for some of them i i have a few of those racked up from uh questing and, and next episode we'll be able to get some crafts going because you know questing level 50 you get a decent amount of arcade coins to start off with i'm not gonna put them all in the recipes just so it's still mostly new like i'll probably just get level three stone tools but yeah here we are in the game with the recipe book which we don't need because i i know the crafts <laughs> i oh my gosh i haven't crafted like wooden tools in hypixel uhc and probably four years this is so weird to me now unfortunately this is definitely not the best time to get into uhc due to the prevalent b hoppers and cheaters in every single game by the end of this it'll be interesting if we look at like how many cheater deaths and non-cheater deaths we have but you know it's still fun and if you're ever gonna get into it i mean could start now i'm just gonna try to help you out for whatever you guys may be starting. Let's hope they don't do a UHC update mid-series. The reason this video is recorded around two weeks in advance, by the way, is I intend to upload this series uh, every single day in September, and I can possibly continue it on if people really enjoy it. And in order to upload every day like I want to, I pretty much have to get working on it uh, before the end of the month because I want to have some of the videos done in advance so I can spend more time on them and make them a bit better. I, I, a lot of you have been requesting something similar to this for a while. Make sure you uh, like the video if you haven't already. It would truly truly mean a lot to me because at the moment of recording this and probably at the moment of this being uploaded quite honestly my channel is not doing amazing so if you want to support me support the channel support the series 
liking and subscribing if you haven't already is quite literally the best thing you can do. Like, it helps me out so much, you have no idea. Let's grab one here. We're gonna make sure we get some flint. Dude, I can't even make iron pack. Oh my gosh, I'm in pain. No haste when mining. Wow, this is gonna be weird. Alright, so if you're just starting out and you don't even have iron pack, which a lot of you will, uh, thankfully, I highly suggest just smelting your iron as you, like, maybe are in a cave or just strip mining so you don't have to wait for it to smelt, like, after grace period. I hope you can find a cave before grace period ends, though. It'd be nice to, like, get a little bit of diamonds and just have a clean diamond sword to fight with. Also, another reason I should mention for me recording this uh, series a little bit in advance is that I get the opportunity to uh, play a decent amount for the recordings without getting targeted and having to buy like MVP plus plus. Because when I upload a video with this account, people will recognize the username and game. But if I have like half the videos made by then, it'll just be a normal player until I upload that first one where I can have a lead with having so much of the content already made. Let's go, dude. I can make that iron pickaxe now. Oh my gosh, this is awesome let's go we got gold oh my gosh i can't even make gold pack my my life i, I just this is so weird so we got four that's enough for a little nope it's not it, i mean it is enough for a light but we can't make light i wow this is truly just a different experience honestly uhc is probably one of the most difficult games on the server to get into but i'm going to do my best to guide you all through it and it just even for experienced players, like, mention things that I find helpful that maybe not too many people in the game know. And, uh, hope you guys get maybe a little bit better. We can all always improve after all. Now, I'm not gonna make this, uh, series, like, pandering. I'm not gonna mention, like, okay, always make sure you get 24 iron for iron armor. Like, basic things like that that, uh, you should know if just your experienced Minecraft player to begin with. I probably won't mention, or at least not go very in detail about. I may just briefly glance over them and just kind of state it. If you're smelting things, there is no reason to not use more than one furnace. You're just going to make everything go by so much more quickly, and it's a great idea. Uh, we can only start with 12 arrows. That's going to be a tough one to come back from. We'll manage. We'll make something happen, I hope. Also, just an FYI, if you guys have any questions on just specifics of UHC or just uh, things you want covered in this series in general, leave me a comment below. By the time this goes up, I may have a decent amount of the videos uh, finished and like scheduled to be uploaded, but not all of them. So I can eventually cover most things in a video. All right, we can finally finish making our fire. Now we got 20 gold, honestly, not half bad. We're just gonna get this smelted and I think try to just go up and hope we can get a kill. Typically when PvP enables, um, if you watch the player count, it's gonna decrease. Uh, a decent amount of people die relatively quickly. Now that's just due to a lot of players uh, playing to just rush 0-0 very quickly, get kills, get some coins, and if they die, they figure, eh, whatever, and they just join a new game. If you can survive against the general onslaught of the first few minutes, you're in a good spot. Although getting kills in the first few minutes is especially good. Alright, here we are. We sheared, got some apples. You can always shear to get apples on Hypixel, by the way, if you didn't know. And uh, we're just gonna head towards zero, zero. We're pretty far out chords wise, but that'll change relatively soon. And we're gonna hope to find more chickens along the way because more arrows is especially help. You do not want to melee too much especially if you're just beginning because people can have very powerful swords. One thing I should uh, mention is that if you're mining and you find diamonds and you want to make an enchant table, feel free if you're a beginner player, but do not get in the habit of doing that. Uh, on Hypixel, early on, you can uh, get recipes to make sharpness books and easy anvils, and most people rely on making sharpness books and the like instead of making actual enchant tables and it makes the game go by a lot quicker and it allows you to get some rather powerful enchants easily and so at that point if you're using like five diamonds on an enchant table usually it's a waste now here are some sheep they are very helpful on hypixel uh you'll always love finding them sheep if you shear them have a chance to drop a string as you can see now ideally you want five string per game uh to be able to make a bow and a rod this game we started off at three and that was our fourth so we want to try and get one more if possible and get a fishing rod all right we are approaching zero zero which is the place where people fight it's where everybody goes when they want to fight so we're gonna be bound to run into somebody very soon i'm not going to try and immediately engage with them but rather kind of watch them and see if they fight somebody else where we can clean In most circumstances if we just run up to somebody and trade hits with them even 
they're bound to have a better sword and armor and we will most likely lose and we do not want to risk that. Before I potentially die, I'm just gonna say if you die with zero kills, that is okay. <laughs> It, it's gonna happen a lot, even if you're a very experienced player, it's just the nature of the game. So don't beat yourself up, and if you truly want to get into the game, I'd recommend just keep playing. Also, if you're ever in a snow biome and you don't have a rod, breaking the snow and using snowballs uh, is a very good substitute for a rod. Also, this is a really weird 0-0. Zero zero. Usually they are a lot more flat than this. That guy is at 32 HP, 16 hearts with half diamond. You gotta learn to pick your fights, and that is not a fight we can take. It has to get a godlike combo to kill him, and you do not really want to set yourself up to have fights like that, or that's your only way of winning. Now here's the name, The Last Tim. He's at 23, and he is clean iron, just like us. He looks like a fight we can take, so we're gonna fight him. He noticed us because we missed some bow shots, but hey, whatever. He's at about half health, which is lower than us. All right. Hit him there, and he fell. He's at eight, 8 now. Oh boy, he's actually quite low. I can probably not take damage to him. Yep, there we are. We got our first kill. Now, heads on Hypixel are... Oh, he had, he had a lot of stuff for us. A lot of arrows. Try his first game too, huh? <laughs> Don't give up, buddy. You're gonna become a 10-star one day, I promise you. Now, heads on Hypixel are uh, pretty good, because when you eat them... When you get a certain perk that we will talk about later on in the series, probably episode 2 or 3... You can get speed 2 when eating it, but if you eat it normally, you'll just get regeneration. Speed 2 can help you run, two people catch them, or the speed can help you in a fight to combo them. But that guy... I don't know if I can take that. He's got a better sword and better armor, but... To, oh, I, mean, I can't take it. There's another guy near him. It looks like he's going up here to escape the other guy. So we're gonna shoot him down. Just drain him with some health and get him off of here. Oh no, there's another guy. That's really bad. There's too many people around here. We gotta play this a little bit slow. So the stacked guy is chasing that guy. And this guy is actually separated. Now this is the one I wanted to fight but couldn't due to the very stacked guy being there. He's got an enchanted bow, which is called Apprentice Bow. But if he doesn't hit us, we'll be fine. We just gotta aim our shots and maybe we can kill him. Probably gonna bow our melee rush here. We hit the head just for the regen, and he's at 0. 0.7, which is half a heart. We got him. All right, we got the sword. We couldn't get the head. Now the stacked guy is chasing us. Realistically, we would die here, but he noticed the head was there, so he stopped chasing us, which is a okay with me. That just means we have a little bit more of a chance for later on. Fortunately, we couldn't grab everything from that loot pile, but that's just how it goes sometimes. We're gonna back off. Uh, run away from zero zero and try to take a fight more our level getting that power bow would have been insanely helpful for sure but looting faster is just a skill you develop naturally over time and <laughs> i personally am not amazing at it but we did get a sharp two diamond which is decent amount better than a regular iron as well as a rod so we don't have to constantly refill ourselves on snowballs and a quick pick which is a efficiency one pickaxe which we will Talk about more in depth in a future episode, but far you need to know right now. I mean, I'm sure you already know, but uh, it's just faster. Now, in situations where you don't have all too much healing and you're a bit worried, you could always dig down and go for more gold. And I could do that this game too. I just am not particularly bothered if I die, so I'm kind of risking it by staying on surface, staying near zero zero. When you're a lower star, oh my gosh, I completely forgot this was a struggle. You will typically run out of hunger if you're, say, alive around this amount of time. As you can see, we need some food. Now, thankfully, we have some, probably from a kill. But there is a very good craft for that, which we will talk about probably <laughs> next episode. But if you ever run out of food, uh, usually if you run around surface for a little bit, you can typically find an animal. Well, hello. So sometimes if somebody dies to a border or logs out, their items will just... Oh my god, that scared me. Oh, their items just appear in a little body like that. And um, you can loot it and get some gear. It does not always come with a random player chasing you. That was just a uh, one-off special this time, it seems. We're going to gap here, and we're going to bow them a little bit. And if they make progress to meleeing us, we will then melee them back, obviously. Instead of just sit sitting there. Walling up when you get bowed at is a good idea. Uh, it's pretty hard to counter with bow. 
but we're just gonna melee him here. And there we are. We got him. Now he had better. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so scary, dude. Why is that? Oh no. Okay, so this is um the number one player in solo UHC wins that just is chasing us right now. Usually you're not gonna encounter that. Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest with you on that one. It's a little bit scary. Uh, that just happened, but we're still alive. Oh my gosh, he just killed the sacked guy. Uh, and you're stacked. Okay, this is... Oh my god, no! This could have been perfect. I can get this kill. I got that kill. Okay, we're gonna have to melee this and hope for the best. I don't think we can do this, though. Uh, that guy might have been cheating himself, actually. There was so much loot there. If we got that, like, just ourselves, we probably could have won the game. I think that was a cheater that got banned, because as you can see from chat, watch our cheat detection. That guy might have been cheating himself, honestly. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I didn't have speed. He... I'm, I don't think he did either, but it was not ideal either way. Regardless, four kills for our first game is significantly above average, especially with no crafts and a very low level kit. We're going to try one more game for this episode, and then I'm going to call it a video. Probably going to be a fairly long video, so if you're still watching and you haven't liked the video, like, prove that you're still watching the video by liking it, yeah? Yeah, that's how it works. All right. <laughs> All right, welcome back to game two. First game went honestly quite well. We're gonna try that again once more. And don't go into games with super high expectations, especially if you're a low star. You know, do your best, but don't expect anything crazy. Um, I'm gonna go in and honestly hope for just two kills this game. If we get more than that, lovely. If we don't hit that, it's just the game. All right, and now we got ourselves some stone tools, which is always helpful. And we're gonna grab some more wood, more crafting tables, and then Honestly, we can just head down. We don't have to get any more things at surface. Usually, you want to get more, but when you're a low star, you can't really make anything. All you need is some wooden tools and you just dig down, which is nice. You get more time to mine, which you definitely need. You either don't have many iron packs or you have to smelt your iron. Uh, I assume most of you will have iron packs, but lucky you. It's it's kind of a challenge for me right now. You know, cu uh, no custom crafts. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the title, isn't it? <laughs> Another thing to mention is uh, cords, typically, I try to stay within, uh, like, say, 400, 400. We spawned around negative 300, negative 700. So before I dig down, I want to run maybe 200 more blocks and... Or maybe just until I find a cave. Just, uh, I definitely don't want to be at minus 700. That's pretty far from zero, zero, and it would make finding other players and getting there at a healthy amount of time pretty difficult. Also, during grace period, don't be afraid to, like, walk in lava. You get fire resistance, so you're fine for the first 10 minutes of a game. Oh! And we dug into a cave. We took a little bit of fall damage in the process, but uh, that's all right. <laughs> I was trying to be efficient instead of like double blocking down because our pickaxe is rather slow. But as you can see, there's water there, so we can get a water bucket and two veins of gold and uh, redstone even. So I'm going to make furnaces, and we're going to smelt, and then we're going to go mine that. All right, we got ourselves the pickaxe and a bucket, so we're going to walk up here, grab that water, and here's the gold. All right, now we're at the Y11 part of the cave. Lots of redstone, which is nice for levels. However, we aren't gonna be making an enchant staple and we can't really make enchanted books. So the levels, eh, they aren't that helpful. But there's no harm in getting them. Maybe later on we'll have an anvil and two sharp threes and we'll wanna make a sharp four or something. Yo, we found diamonds. We're gonna get an achievement, you ready? Boom. Is it a one vein? Come on, game, I'm a one star! I feel like this goes without saying, but if you get, say, one diamond, do not make a shovel. Uh, you typically want to make either a sword, uh, save up for some fancy expensive craft we'll have later on down the line, or make armor. Tools, while they could be a little bit faster, are not worth it, especially since you don't typically spend too much time mining on high pixel. Yo! We found more diamonds! Oh my gosh. That's actually quite lucky. Wow, we just dug straight into cold, which is really helpful because otherwise we would not have been able to make a gapple. Alright, so right now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of strip mining as I wait for my gold and iron to smelt, and then I'm gonna head up. Um, you always typically want to be trying to do multiple things at once, and smelting, instead of just sitting there, mining rather, as well, is very smart. Alright, so now we've crafted the basics. We got armor, one gap, and... Uh, a diamond sword, which is much better than the iron. But we're just gonna head up now and uh, hope for the best, really. Alright, and here we are at surface. Uh, 
So we're heading towards zero zero now, really. We're pretty far out, like I mentioned. Typically, you do want to mine with uh, your cords being a little bit closer, but I just found that cave and it was tempting. So I topped in it and it worked out fairly well. Diamonds are very helpful after all. Hey, let's go. We found sheep, which is lovely. We actually might be able to get a rod before we even go to zero zero. So first fight will be a lot more simple for us than it would be otherwise. If you ever feel like you get a bad string luck for a now if you're starting off and you have a, any kind of bow and you don't have many arrows you definitely always want to kill chickens the arrows you'll get from them will be a massive help to your game it will help you keep distance so you will take less damage and deal more damage to players truly there is no reason not to bow spam if you're a super low star that means please don't bow spam me i beg all right we've arrived at zero zero and somebody says b hop Looks like we're gonna encounter our first actual bee hopper this game. Now last game, I'm not sure if we died to a cheater. Uh, they, I think they might have just been a good player. But this game, we might have just have a flat out, very blatant cheater. That is indeed a Minecraft cheater. Uh, uh, what you do now is you basically go and cry. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was, I was doing every. Oh my gosh, they almost said that. I was typing every staff name I knew, trying to get help with this guy, but. Either couldn't message any of the people, uh, or they were offline. Uh, that guy is holding a sword which gives him speed, and this guy wants to fight me. Alright, this game is uh, probably going to take a turn for the worse in about three seconds. There's a name. Fishy Onion. Om Nom. 16, rather. That is a great help to find somebody. Uh, I hope they will be willing to fight me. Because if it's... They don't... Oh. Oh my god. Who are you? What just happened to me? I just turned around and there's a guy with like 20 wolves here. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm supposed to fight him. Oh god. This guy, I think, ate ahead to catch us, which is bad. They're very high in health now. Especially just in comparison to us. Oh, they're gonna get hit. Yup. Oh, double hits. You are good. Um. Did not expect them to get a triple hit there. They also have taken, uh, as you can see, hardly any damage to our bow. That's why Apprentice Bow is very helpful. Uh, right now, we're we're not doing much. I don't think this is going to result in a, a, a kill for us, if I'm being honest here. There's another name. Come here, whoever you are. They're fighting. Yes. Now what we do is watch the two, I believe, alleged cheaters fight. There's the third guy now. Uh, he died. And that guy's next. Yeah, that's just... He's a flame bow, yeah. Dude, like, how do you get a flame bow? Yeah, it, it's just a dead game here. All we can do is drain them. Well, yeah. I'll get an achievement. Sure. Goodbye. Oh, never mind. Hit an enemy from 30 plus blocks away three times in a row. Well, at least you were good for an achievement, I guess. Anyways, that is it for this first episode. We got four score and we have earned about 5,000 coins now. But I highly, highly recommend. It's just going through every profession and uh, really just getting things you can get. We're going to start off by just getting apprentice crafts. But after that, we're going to go through each profession get the first craft and get the first perk but we're gonna start with engineering so we can make iron pack we gonna make forge now gonna be able to make gold pack and that's all we can do for now but that is very helpful regardless i'm probably gonna convert my arcade coins into uhc coins um maybe episode three four end of two depends because that's 107,000 coins if i use that immediately it's just gonna kind of isolate you who don't have as many coins so Yep, I hope you enjoyed. Like, like the video if you haven't already. Seriously, I'm desperate, please. Might as well subscribe if you want to continue to watch these videos uh, as they come out daily for the next month. Hope you are all as excited for this as I am. Hope you had a fun time watching. Have a great day in general. Peace. Yeah, she said I hate my